Hi all, welcome to another Dave Downey video production uh, 2020 What I'm going to do here, I'm not going to tie the full fly I just want to show you a little method I've already shown you how to do my big super clink hammer for holding up uh, flies uh, holding up tungsten beads in the river uh, using it as an indicator, or also catching fish Now I've been getting asked more and more to tie it with a ring on the oh, on, on the bend of the hook because people are losing flies off the barbless hook I never really have issues with the flies on the barbless hook right? but I'm not really comfortable tying rings in either and I don't really like the ring because of the weight of it so I want to show you a wee system that I've been playing about with which I think is going to work really well so what I've got in the vise is a size 10 uh, it's a definite advantage barbless grub hook I always like to tie my clink hammers on the barbless grub and what I'm going to use is the, the, the sheer thread, which is a 14 0 alright, in black. As I say, whatever colour you're tying, use, use the correct colour of thread. We're also going to use the arrow wing, orange and pink, as always, for the post. And instead of using a metal ring, I want to use some of the Jackson. This is 0.2mm, but it's fish up to 7kg. Now I've used it, I've tried this method and it's working for me. Uh, and I'm not really having any fish managing to pull pull it apart. So what we want to do, is just I've just put a piece of the seven kilo to the side. So first of all, obviously catch a thread in, and we're going to tie it down to the bend. Right, doesn't matter about touching turns. Now I'll we'll tie it down to the bend. And then we'll go back up. Right, so basically, a layer of thread. So that's going to help the thread, uh, the nylon grip. Next thing I want to do, back up. Right, now with the bit of nylon that I've got, it's 0.2mm, it's up to 7kg. You can use pliers, but I'm just going to use my teeth. Right. So all I want to do, basically rough it up with my teeth okay so I've got about two inches of nylon and all I've done is roughed it up with my teeth and all that is it's going to help is to grip so I'm going to tie it in right catch it in now like a good chef tying flies a lot of it's in the prep work so we're turning that over so we're getting an even distribution of the thread as we go down the body because it's it's nylon so it's going to want to twist now I'm not saying this is going to last forever but it will last and you will be able to tie your nymph onto the end of it right so take that down and you can see there there's a loop all right so what we can then do is we'll go back up and then we're going to get our post tied in. Now I'm going to show you a finished fly that I actually put another piece of, I put some 10 pound nylon through it and I pulled as hard as I could like hell and it just wouldn't pull out just in case you're scared that the loop's going to come loose it's not. So, says before we've got two sections of the arrow wing so there's two sections there as it comes off the card. It comes off the card in four strands. So basically we've got four four double strands of pink and four double strands of uh, orange. And we'll cut that one. So we've got our pink and we've got our orange. That says all I'm doing is prepping the hook. I've got a fly that I've finished that I'm going to show you. So I've bent it over so it's double doubled now. Right? Fold it around the thread, catch it on the other side, and just pull it up. Now all that's really doing is helping you position it. So do a half a dozen to eight turns around that side. Then it'll open up and we'll just catch it in. We're about seven or eight turns. Then we're going to do that side. And then obviously we're going to get around the post. So it's a wee bit fiddly to start with. We've got to keep lifting the post up. Some people put the post under the hook and, and have it 
but I don't like it because you end up with a big bit of bulk. I'd rather have the bulk where the post is and the fly is getting the hackle tied in. So, back up again. Right. The good thing about these is you can prep these up, have them sitting. Obviously, depending on the colour of fly you want. Some people prefer olive, some people prefer a black fly. I like a black fly and I like olive. Sometimes a hair's here, but nine times out of ten. I'm fishing with a black clink hammer. Right, because at the end of the day, it's, it's only there to catch me the extra fish that I need in a competition. It's not there as an actual fish catching, it's there to do a purpose, it's there to hold up two tungsten beads or one. And now that we've done that, I'm going to take some fully mill uh, fisherman super glue. Right, and we're just going to coat the body of the fly just to where the nylon is and the post I'll just put a thin coat on there so that's just going to seep through the thread and it'll make it much stronger this is eventually the nylon will snap but you should be able to get a good 5 or 6 trips out of it I would think before it would snap because it is quite a strong nylon if you just could step it up but then the body of the fly is going to get a wee bit too thick so I would, I would do maybe a dozen of those Move them to the side, let them set, okay, and then obviously there's the finished product. So there's the clink hammer. That's just an olive body, red game hackle, and you can see the loop. Now, there are a few different ways of connecting the flight to that. You can just tie it on with a blood knot, or what you could do is you could have different lengths, so you could have your pheasant tails on different lengths of nylon to save you changing your nylon all the time. And all you would do is feed the loop through. So I'll get a piece of nylon just to show you. Okay. So I'll just use the thick stuff again. Right. And what you're going to do is you're obviously going to tie a loop on this end. So we would have a loop. I'll probably, personally, I, I prefer to do it just using the blood knot rather than doing it loop to loop, but there's nothing wrong with doing loop to loop. Loop to loop makes it faster and, and allows you to take it on and off. So I've put a loop on that side. So you could have several bits of nylon in your kit. Right. And we'll just put a pheasant tail. Let me see what have I got lying about that we could use. I must have an inf somewhere. Uh, doesn't look like it. What I do have is a, I've just got a hook here, right, with a bit of lead on it. So we'll just use that. So I'll tie that on the other end. One, two, three, four, done blood knot. Through, catch. So, you've got your set length of nylon. So you could have one set at three metres, one set at two metres, one set at ten metres. So we'll just put that piece through, right, hope you can see that. So that's just coming through that loop. Now with this loop, what I'm then going to do is just put the fly through there. And that says it means it gives you an easy access, it gives you an easy option for chopping and changing flies and having different depths. Just pull that tight, right? Make sure the knot goes through. And then just pull it tight. Now that, that's you got a connection there. And if you want to take it off, it's just a case of pushing it again and feeding it back through. So you would just pull it off. Obviously it's a wee bit difficult for me to try it through the vise. But there we go. Right, so we just pull that back off through. Pull that through. Blah blah blah. Bob's your uncle. Babless hook. Take that out. Right, comes out the loop. Pick up your next piece of nylon, which is two metres longer, or a metre longer, or a foot longer, or six inches longer and just do the same thing. So you, as I say, you could have a little piece of foam, uh, like a cast carrier, with five or six different lengths set up with the same fly on it, or a different fly, or two flies, and it just makes this a quick and easy change. And you can just stick it through, pull it tight, job done. So I hope it makes sense, what I'm saying. If it doesn't, just send me, some, send me a message on YouTube, ask me some questions, but it's just a, 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 an easy, quick solution uh, instead of using a ring. So I hope you enjoyed that guys. 
Hey, as I says, I want to do more instructional stuff for you guys. So if you can get your mates not to subscribe to the YouTube channel, that'd be fantastic. I hope you are enjoying it. I welcome your comments, welcome your feedback. Uh, if there's certain flies you want tied or methods or as I say you've got questions, you know where I am. So take care, have a good day and I hope you all go and catch fish.